Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video, the birthday make along. Yes, it's the 1st of May and time to announce the birthday colours for May. 1st of May happens to be Thing's birthday. Yes, we both have our birthdays in May. We're both Taurians. He's older. He's also quite proud of the fact that the 1st of May is World Naked Gardening Day. You get naked. You go out and do some gardening, you take some photos and you post them on Facebook and Instagram to celebrate World Naked Gardening Day. I told him if he does that, he won't make it till the next birthday. So the first time make along, let's review April. April was diamond and it meant innocence. So innocence for me, when I thought about it, was what my niece sent me this month. When her daughters were three and five, she asked them 10 questions and recorded their answers. And their answers were quite sweet, cute, funny, innocent. They're now five and eight, I think. And she re-asked those questions. And the answers were different. They're still sweet and cute, but not as innocent. innocent. They've lost that childish innocence. They've been out into the wide world of prep school and school, and they've Matured, of course, but it's changed. My opinion is our children grow up way too fast these days and lose that childish innocence way too soon. So April, lots of lovely pictures were posted to the Facebook group and Instagram and some email to me. It was awesome. We also got some new people come on board to join the make-along. One of those was Jo from Jo's Web. And her photo of her project is on the Facebook group page. If you haven't checked it out, I'm going to put a link to the video where she talks about her project because it is awesome. It is a birthstone snake. She started it and caught up to us by the end of April and it looks amazing. And now I want to make a snake. Please check her video out. You'll love it. So... Lots of people love the colour choices and picked a variety of colours, but the most popular colour was pink. So with that in mind, I went out yarn shopping and I gave the price pack some thought. So when it was amethyst and purple, I bought Red Heart Fashion Soft Yarn in purple. And I thought with it being pink, I would buy Red Heart Fashion Soft Yarn in hot pink. Because the pink and purple will make a great, great project together. I didn't want the price pack just to be about oddballs of yarn that would be difficult to use up. Now this is a, a, a three weight or eight ply. They're 381 yards or 348 metres in a ball. So with the purple and pink, there's enough yardage or meterage in that to make a lovely project. So this is the yarn that will be going into our end of year price pack. So we move on to May. Yes, May is emerald. And actually, I got my emeralds on today. We are planning to go, they were quite small. You might need a magnifying glass. I've got them in my ears. We're going out to dinner tonight for a thing's birthday. So emerald, green. Flower for May is lily of the valley. And it, it means success in love so i don't like flat green yarn and i don't like lily of the valley because i don't like the smell but that is our birthstone for the month so i did some research on emeralds and i'll read a bit out to you as to why i decided on our color choice so emeralds in gemology, colour is divided into three components, hue, saturation and tone. Emeralds occur in hues ranging from yellow-green to blue-green, with the prominent colour being green. Now, the most expensive emerald was the Rockefeller Emerald, which was offered by Christie's in the summer of 2017. And it sold for $5,511,500, which meant it was $305,500 per carat, most ever paid per carat for an emerald. 
it was promptly renamed the Rockefeller Winston Emerald. So, colours, are you ready? Of course, it's going to be green. But if you check out the picture at the end of this video, you will see it's a picture of a raw emerald. The greens range in variety and there are a lot of people using their stash arm. So please, pick a green in the green range because they're all in emeralds from your stash. That is the first colour choice. Were you expecting only one? Because there is yellow green in some of the hues of an emerald and I have seen the yellow in the facets, we can use yellow. This is all I have left. It doesn't have to be this bright, but your second colour choice is yellow. Now I've had some people ask about a variegated colour. So for May, you can choose a variegated, and this is the only one close enough to represent it, a blue-green variegated yarn. And that is your third colour choice. So you have green, yellow, and a variegated blue, green, yellow. They are your colour choices for May. Green and gold, Australian Olympic colours. I hope you like the three colour choices. I hope the variegated um, is pleasing to those people who have asked for it. And yes, pick something in the green range or the yellow range for May. So guys, I hope you're still enjoying the make along and the colour choices and that your projects will look awesome when you decide on which colour you're going to use. Until next time, stay safe, take care of each other and make sure you have one crafty day, not necessarily using green.